Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Rodrigo Rosenberg Marzano. This is a video that was made by Rodrigo Rosenberg, a respected attorney in Guatemala, shortly before he was assassinated. Y lamentablemente, si ustedes están en este momento oyendo y viendo este mensaje, es porque fui asesinado por el señor presidente Álvaro Colón. In it, he does something unfathomable. He identifies his alleged killers and says they were none other than the president and the first lady of Guatemala, as well as other members of the administration. Before he was killed, Rosenberg was investigating another murder case, and he began to uncover what he described as a conspiracy that reached to the highest levels of the government. As he intensified his investigation, he also began to report that he was receiving threats and that his life was in danger. The video was literally hawked on the streets. It was uploaded onto so many computers that servers crashed throughout the country. Protesters began to stream into the streets. Literally thousands of people gathered around the palace, uh, demanding that the president and the first lady step down, uh, screaming that they were assassins. Within just a few days of this video being released, the country and the government was on the verge of collapse. The investigation was eventually turned over to a UN-backed organization and its team of international investigators. They had enormous pressure and weight to solve this case, and they were investigating the most untouchable people in the country. And they were doing it in a country where there are very few arbiters for truth. Corruption and criminal networks are embedded into every organization. One of the amazing things about this case was not only did you have the Rosenberg video, which became in many ways like a version of the Sapruder film with the Kennedy assassination, this film that was studied and analyzed because it was believed to hold the key to a nation's history. But the entire crime was often mediated uh, through film and through images, and investigators often relied on security camera images and other images and fragmentary images that were captured along the way. And so their job uh, was very much uh, to try to find among all this information and disinformation, all these proliferating uh, fictional scenarios, to try to find the one true narrative uh, amongst them all and to unravel what uh, they would soon discover was probably the strangest and the most sensational political conspiracy in history. <laughs>